derivation for position time relation by graphical method. Draw velocity time graph to do the derivation. Once we draw a velocity time graph, we understand that the body moves with initial velocity u and final velocity v and time it takes is t at uniform acceleration a. From the graph, we know that u is equal to oa and v is equal to bc and t time taken is oc and the acceleration a is equal to slope of the line ab which means it is bd by ad which is bd by oc since ad is equal to oc and which is nothing but bd by t since oc is equal to t so bd is equal to a into t take it as equation one now let us find out the distance traveled by the body since we need to find position time relation in this case the area covered by line AB with time axis is a trapezium. So, the area of a trapezium, which is the trapezium OA, BC, is the distance travelled. The trapezium can be split as one rectangle OA, DC and a triangle ABD. So, it becomes area of a rectangle OA DC plus area of triangle ABD now area of a rectangle OA DC is OA into OC and area of a triangle ABD is half into base into height, which is AD into BD. Now, from the graph, we know OA is U and OC is T, half into AD is OC, which is T, and BD is from the equation AT. So, which is ut plus half t into at which is equal to ut plus half at square so the position time relation is s is equal to ut plus half at square this is called second equation of motion